This video will address the repair of the half-inch Apollo RP-4A. These repair procedures will work on both the standard and lead-free version of this device. The tools needed for this repair are a crescent wrench, flathead screwdriver, a Phillips head screwdriver, and a socket wrench with a 7 16th inch or 11 millimeter socket. To begin the repair, use your crescent wrench to loosen the check covers, then unscrew and remove them. The covers are threaded into the body and are not spring loaded. We recommend servicing one check valve at a time to avoid reassembling them incorrectly. Once you have removed the check covers, you will have access to the check assemblies. To remove the check assemblies, gently rock them back and forth until you are able to pull them straight out of the body. Be careful to not release the spring tension while you are removing the checks. To disassemble the check, hold the check cage while you push down on the spring retainer and rotate it 90 degrees. Be careful once you rotate the spring retainer as the spring tension will be released. To replace the check rubbers, use your Phillips head screwdriver to remove the screw from the poppet. Then remove the disc washer and check rubber disc. If the check disc is damaged or worn out, replace it with a new check disc and reinstall the disc washer and screw. The check seats are part of the check modules. If the check seat or seating surface is damaged, the seat will need to be replaced. Remove the old seat o-ring and install the new one. To reassemble the check valve, place the check poppet back inside the check cage and reinstall the spring and spring retainer. Using the spring retainer, compress the spring until you can rotate the spring retainer into the grooves of the check cage. The retainer should pop up and lock into the check cage when installed correctly. It is important to make sure the spring retainer is positioned correctly so that the check does not disassemble. You can now reinstall the check assemblies into the body. Be sure to reinstall the checks in the correct order, with the number one check being placed in the first body cavity, followed by the number two check. You can distinguish the checks by the springs. The number one check will have a stronger, noticeably thicker spring. Be sure they are fully secured and don't forget to replace the cover o-rings before you thread the covers back on. To begin working on the relief valve, remove all four cover bolts located on the relief valve cover. The cover is not spring loaded and it can be removed once you have taken the bolts off. You will now have access to the relief valve module. To remove the module, rock it back and forth, similar to the check assemblies, until you can pull it straight out of the body. You can now remove and inspect the relief valve seat. The seat is o-ring sealed into the body and can be removed by pulling it straight out of the body. Be sure to inspect the seat for any breaks, cracks, or damage to the seat profile. The relief valve seat has an o-ring around the bottom of it that can be removed to inspect or replace. To replace the relief valve rubber disc, remove the Phillips head screw that holds the disc in place. You can now remove the relief valve rubber disc and replace it with a new one. Remove the relief valve bushing o-ring and replace it. To replace the stem o-ring, you will need to remove the diaphragm plate. To remove the plate, you will need to remove the Phillips head screw located in the middle of the diaphragm plate. Be sure to hold the diaphragm plate firmly while you remove the screw, as you will release the spring tension once the screw is loose. To remove the stem o-ring, use a flat head screwdriver to get under it to help pull it out from the groove on the stem that it sits in. Just a reminder, it is important to lube all o-rings upon installation. To reassemble the relief valve assembly, begin by sliding the bushing back onto the stem. Be sure that the side with the o-ring is facing the relief valve disc. Next, reinstall the spring and diaphragm plate. You will need to compress the spring in order to reinstall the relief valve plate screw, 
so be sure to hold the relief valve module firmly while reinstalling it. To reinstall, you will first need to push the relief valve seat back into the brass body. Now you can push the relief valve module into the backflow. If it is installed correctly, the module should sit inside the backflow without you needing to hold it. Now replace the relief valve diaphragm and reinstall the cover. Make sure that the relief valve sensing line is not blocked by the diaphragm. Thanks for watching. Please comment below with your feedback. Check out backflowparts.com for more resources. Subscribe to our channel and follow us on social media for more updates.